Hello everyone, and welcome to my first tutorial series that I'll be recording for YouTube. In this video, I'm going to be going over four of my mechanisms that I've made tutorials for already, but I'll be going more in depth. I want to start off with a timed gate tutorial that I made. A timed gate is a gate that stays open for a while and eventually closes. Once it closes, it never opens back up. So in this level right here, you can see that the gravity blocks will close in about 8 seconds and they will never open back up. This spike block right here is the one that keeps these gravity blocks from coming down. So once the spike block moves, these gravity blocks fall down. That red bouncy block is what traps the gravity blocks in so that they don't move afterwards. And this mechanism is very good for speedrun levels or any level where you want something to move at a specific time. We're going to go ahead and take a look at an example level that uses a timed gate. In this level you can see it uses a timed gate. I'm going to go ahead and draw this so that you can see it more clearly. So if you pay attention to the orange block, once that bouncy block moves out of the way, everything falls down and then the block stops you from beating the level. This is the same thing as a timed gate, it's just made a little bit differently. So basically what's happening is this bouncy block down here is moving to the left. Once it moves out of the way, all of these blocks fall down, and then this spike block blocks you off from beating the level. Okay, moving on, we're going to be looking at a multi-block gate tutorial. Now this is different from a timed gate. This gate will never close or never open after a certain amount of time. This is all up to the player breaking a certain amount of blocks. So if you take a look at these ice blocks right here and these void blocks, they're actually stopping all of these bouncy blocks from moving. So once all of these blocks are broken, the gate finally opens. It is not until all of these are broken that the gate opens up. And then this down here is just to um, keep the gate open af afterwards. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at an example level of a multi-block gate. So if you look here, it's exactly the same thing. If you look at what's happening, you'll see that the ice blocks do not move until all of these blocks are broken. Once all of these blocks are broken, the gate finally opens up. These orange bouncy blocks are preventing all of these ice blocks from moving. It's the same thing. Once all of these blocks are broken, then the ice blocks move and then you can finally beat the level. It's just another version of the multi-block gate. Okay, now we're gonna be looking at a loop tutorial. This is a level where you have to break a block, go back around, break a block, go back around, repeat. You basically do this all the way until you can finish the level. Once you break all the blocks, there's nothing else in your path. And if you want to take a look at this mechanism, there's actually no invisible blocks, so it's exactly the way it looks. So if we take a look at what's going on, these ice blocks and these bouncy blocks are each moving over every time these collapse blocks move down. Each block you break moves this little tower down by one space, and then these lock it in place so that it does not go back up. Okay, so we're going to be taking a look at an example of this loop tutorial. So if we take a look at this, this looks very complicated at first glance, but if you understand how a loop mechanism works, you'd understand that this is very simple. So I'm going to go ahead and draw it all out for you guys again. Okay, now that everything is drawn out, you can see that when you break these blocks, the bouncy blocks lock them in place so that they don't go back up. Now in this pick lock level, if you break too many blocks, you automatically lose. So if you break these collapse blocks, they get locked in place. And then once the correct number is broken, those ultra bouncy blocks on top, the purple ones, will slide over and then you can beat the level. As you can see, everything moves over, then the ending is unlocked right over here. Okay, so how do we stop people from breaking too many blocks? So if you watch what happens when we play the level, let's break one too many blocks in this row. And now you can see that this water block will never come over because this is too low. Even if we break the correct amount of blocks in these two rows, the water blocks can never move over so that you can never win. 
basically what's happening is that these water blocks will shift over once you break enough blocks in all of these rows and when this thing moves to the left you beat the level because this thing opens so if these water blocks cannot move over because you broke too many blocks in these rows then you automatically lose so that's a simplified version of this mechanism but it really is just a loop mechanism it's the same as that basic version I just showed you okay so moving on to the next tutorial we're going to be looking at my newest tutorial called a tripwire tutorial this can be useful for a lot of levels where you want to stop blocks from going a certain place where you want to trigger something that's very far away without having to connect it all up so as you can see once we break this block this ladder touches everything and then disassembles it all if you watch down below you'll see this bouncy block will come and it'll touch it and disassemble the whole thing so now this whole thing fell apart all because of this bouncy block right here these void blocks that are pushing up are to make this mechanism work more consistently it works 100% of the time because of these three void blocks you can break the block anytime you want and it will always trigger okay so we're gonna be looking at an example level of the tripwire okay so I drew out the basic tripwire system in the top left corner you can see it right up here this is the tripwire so basically you need to break this block this block and this block to finally release something that comes over here and disassembles this whole thing once this whole thing is disassembled you can beat the level okay so I drew it out for you so you can see it a lot easier the lava block on the top of the level cannot pass the water block once I come up here and I break this collapse then the lava is able to pass through. Now it gets stuck on the next part and I come up here and I do the same thing. Okay. Do the same thing again. And now the lava passes through. It disassembles that whole thing and you're able to beat the level. This lava block up here needs to come all the way over here to disassemble this and these water blocks are blocking it okay so I've showed you the four tutorials that I was gonna go over today uh, I hope everything was a lot easier to understand with only six message blocks I know it can be very hard to understand everything in detail comment anything down below that you think I should make a tutorial on and I'll explain it more in depth it could be making mazes making puzzles discovering gimmicks let me know down below what my next video should be about.